Hundreds of German politicians have fallen victim to a hack of their personal information. The stolen data includes uh, cell phone numbers and credit card details which were posted to Twitter. Germany's security agencies are investigating. Who is responsible isn't yet known, and the government says the hackers targeted lawmakers at all levels. Even German Chancellor Angela Merkel has been affected. The leaked data includes a fax number, email address and several letters purported to come out of her office. It's not clear yet if the leaked documents are authentic. However, even if a large part of the data concerned were authentic, experience shows that in such cases, falsified data may also have been mixed in. Hundreds of other German politicians from every German political party were targeted by the hackers. They then used Twitter to make public personal data, such as phone numbers, identification documents, chats, invoices and even photos of their children. Germany's Justice Minister Katarina Bali condemned the leaks as an attack on the country's democracy. The left's faction co-leader says he's deeply shocked. It's an attack on the social cohesion of our country. I've read and heard that many artists, journalists and politicians are affected. The aim is obviously to create a climate of fear, a climate of insecurity in our country. The leak was first discovered Thursday evening. However, it appears the first document started appearing in December, with the Twitter account releasing information daily in the style of an advent calendar. None of the internal documents that were released are reported to be highly sensitive. At the moment, there is no known suspect nor motivation. It's not the first time that German politicians have been hacked. Russia was accused of a series of cyber attacks that stole data from computers in the German parliament in 2015. And last year, the German government's IT network came under a fresh attack. Russian hackers were allegedly also to blame. Our political correspondent Maximiliana Koschik is following the latest uh, updates for us. Max, personal data here, as we've heard, has been leaked. Um, cell phone numbers, credit card details. The government spokesman has said... Uh, that no highly sensitive data has been leaked. Uh, what do they mean by that? Well, there's always different uh, categories in which you can consider data leaks or hack attacks, like the suspected one that we're currently talking about. The attack or the leak that we're currently talking about is one that contains a lot of like a mass of data and in that is a mixture of a lot of personal data, but experts have already confirmed that some of the information has been publicly available, for example, has been drawn from public websites such as the German Parliament's website. Some of the information that has been supposedly leaked has come from older leaks, for example, from a 2012 Facebook hack attack where personal data has already been leaked and some has been falsified. So experts are currently looking into it and it's important uh, to note that but the um, original leak um, Twitter account has already been shut down. But of course, there's still circulation of the links that have been distributed on the Internet. Max, this is a, a serious breach. We saw in our report also the Chancellor being affected. What are authorities doing to deal with this? Well, currently we know that the Federal Agency for Information Security is meeting with intelligence services. The German government has also been informed and they're now uh, launching an investigation. We have it on good authority that the American services are helping on that. And of course, it's important to note, very crucial for Internet users out there, the links are still circulating and it's advised that you should not open them because even though it's quite tempting, there seems to be information also on celebrities. German celebrities, but also um, potentially uh, well-known figures such as German Chancellor Angela Merkel, that you do not open these links because they could contain malicious software. Max, this is not the first hack on German politicians, on German government networks. In recent years, a Russian group was suspected behind the attacks. Is there any indication who is behind this data leak? No, there isn't. There has been a quick sort of remarkable note that uh, it was looking like the far-right party AFD has not been affected from the leak, but now politicians of that party have come forward and said that they have been um, affected too. However, this what it seems is like this is an... Um, 
attack or a leak that is aimed to sort of look at like psychological warfare. So personal data, everybody can be affected, even the most powerful people in Germany. And um, so what is different to previous leaks is that those were, uh, for example, attacking critical infrastructures, public services or the German parliamentary technical infrastructure. And those kind of attacks, the ones that have been happening previously, were always attacks that were looking like for an espionage. This one seems to be more something that is like aimed at showing how easily everybody can be targeted and how everybody in Germany and everywhere in the world should be taking care of their personal cybersecurity. All right, our political correspondent, Maximilian Akosik, covering the story for us. Thank you very much.